You can call me Flower if you want to. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days and sponsored by Hotel Vermont and New England Federal Credit Union. My name is Ava Solberger. We are here at the Echo Leahy Center for Lake Champlain, and this is Butterflies Live. Another cold winter day in Vermont, but inside the Butterfly Pavilion, it's a tropical paradise. Almost 80 degrees, humid and lush, with about 150 butterflies and moths fluttering around the visitors like fairies. As soon as you walk through the door, it feels like you're transformed carried to a new place. It's really fun to have everyone walk in and just go, wow. It's so peaceful in here. But one of our goals here certainly is to instill people with a sense of wonder and also help them realize that insects can be really cool. He likes you. Can you see it? Oh, there's another butterfly on me. I'm making friends with butterflies. The purpose of this exhibit is to share the incredible diversity of our planet with our guests to show them how incredible and diverse butterflies are. They're just one group of animals, but within that you see incredible differences in wing shape, in color, in feeding strategy, in survival strategy. And we just have a small sample of the even greater diversity and wonder throughout our world and in tropical rainforests, like some of those that these species come from. Feel the plants, feel the humidity, and just kind of step right into their world, which we don't always get when you just see one flying by. For a while, you start to feel like you're not in Vermont anymore, and like you really are in a tropical habitat that these butterflies call home naturally. Every person that comes in here is very curious, because they want a butterfly to like land on them. But to do that, they have to be as calm as like a tree. If you're nice and still and calm and use great science eyes to observe, you have better chances of having a butterfly land on you. Are you as calm as a tree? Right now I am. Like a tree. Joseph has really good advice. I should follow it. So this guy is called a blue morpho. So can you look that way for me while I remove her for you? So I'm just going to put this little brush in. Yeah, this there is the one that was up on you. Amazingly delicate, little tiny, tickly feeling. It's kind of, it's ticklish. It's on your shoulder. <laughs> it's amazing, you can really see their face up close and their mouth and their eyes. You can see his tongue. I just, I love them. They're just majestic and they're animatic. They, they're just different and magical. See how the butterflies are so close to me? Yes. It's strange because it's like they're very picky, but it's like they're very like they're very gentle. So it's just like you feel lucky almost when they land on you. Do you think your blue hair might be attracting more? I think so. I think they probably think it's like a flower. <laughs> Each and every one is so beautiful. They're like unicorns in my opinion. I think they're like fairies. You know, you have one. <laughs> this is a rice paper. This is a rice paper butterfly. I met you before. I just had a visitor, a rice paper butterfly from Southeast Asia. I have a special connection with them because after my grandmother passed away for the first few months I would see monarchs like everywhere that I went for the first few months. So it's kind of like a little sign that she was there. One little girl yesterday walked up to me and said, excuse me, are you the butterfly lady? And I said, well, I, I guess I am. As a young child, I loved coming to exhibits like this that really captured my imagination and filled me with wonder. I'd stay in here all day if I was five. interested in their habitat, all the different kinds of butterflies, and the way that they move. I like all the different colors of their wings. I think that's really cool, and I like how they camouflage. 
camouflage themselves. There's one species in here, the glasswing butterfly, that has wings that are so delicate, they're actually see-through. It's more than 150 butterflies from all over the world, with the exception of Vermont, of course. So the closest butterflies are the zebra longwings. It's a species that's common in Central and South America, but is also seen in Florida and Texas, as well as occasionally on my glasses. So <laughs> that species there is the green birdwing. They're a species from Australia. They are sexually dimorphic, which means that the males and females look different. The great yellow Mormon, that's a species of swallowtail butterfly. That's from Southeast Asia. 14 species in here right now. We get new butterflies every other week because they have short lifespans. So during the run of the whole exhibit, we'll end up hopefully having about 50 different ones. But something that people might not know is that the beautiful colors that we see and appreciate are actually warning coloration, a warning to other animals that say, don't eat me, I taste gross, you'll regret it. The rice paper butterflies, because they are one of those species that really taste bad to their predators, has the luxury of a delicate, gentle flight. They're very elegant in the air. Well, I have such a appreciation and respect for these incredible animals just for their beauty but also for the role that they play in our environments as pollinators and just part of the food web. Big one. I think it's really important to be here and learn about the habitats of butterflies, especially with our changing landscape. Um, thinking about how we can help protect them during climate change. Why do you think it's important to learn about these creatures? Uh, so you can help them if they're in danger. Exactly. I'm interested in protecting like any species. Everything that we try to do, we try to do eco-friendly and that's what I love about Vermont. We've never been here before and everything seems to be so eco-friendly. It's amazing. By appreciating these animals and understanding them better, it also fosters a love of the world around us. and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and sign up for our weekly email alerts. I'm covered in butterflies. I'm covered in butterflies. So are you. Come on, you. You guys can be in the video if you want. Yeah. Awesome.